and welcome to the Fashion Magazine YouTube channel. This is the first time that you're seeing me. My name is Sarah. It's very nice to meet you. No, we are not going to be doing the full-on legit like I have a feather on my eyebrow trend today because I know that's been going around but that's just a little bit, a little bit out of my comfort zone. But what has been really big as of lately is the whole like natural effortless looking eyebrow. Kind of like the polar opposite of the really intense Instagram brow that we were seeing over the past couple of years. So I'm super into this because if you guys can already tell, I'm more of a simple girl so going easy with my brows is like my favorite thing because brows can be a pain in the you know what to achieve and take up a whole bunch of unnecessary time that we all don't have. So today I'm going to be walking you guys through these really really easy steps and we use hardly any products so it's going to be very easy for all of you to replicate at home. So let's just jump straight on into it. Step number one preparation is to groom the brows. Obviously with a more natural brow, we don't want to over pluck them. So I tend to just do a little bit in the middle and underneath and then call it a day. After we have eliminated any of those stray, unnecessary, unwanted little eyebrow hairs, we're gonna go in with a spoolie. And we wanna start by brushing our eyebrow hairs upwards. So this is just gonna help create that shape that we wanna achieve and help things look a little bit more natural. After we have that shape and our eyebrow hairs are all brushed up into place, we're gonna go in with an eyebrow pencil that is a little bit on the lighter side, but still within the whole color family of our actual brow color. Using the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Lift Brow Pencil, I love this because the applicator is a very flat and sharp tip, so it's gonna be perfect for just drawing underneath the front of our brows. I'm gonna go in with a very light hand, as, as we all know, this is a natural look, so I don't wanna have any harsh lines. As you guys are gonna realize, I'm gonna be doing a lot of blending with my spoolie, so of course, after I draw this line, I'm just gonna brush up, make sure that product is dispersed evenly and not creating any harsh lines. For the outer part of my brow, I'm gonna be switching it up and using the Smashbox Brow Tech Matte Pencil. This one's a little bit darker and more precise than the previous pencil that I used, so it's gonna be really good for building that outer shape that we wanna create. And I'm also gonna be drawing in the direction that my natural brow hairs would go in a light feathery motion, so it's not gonna look like anything too harsh. So I do also like to extend my brow a little bit near the end. This just helps create a little bit of a nicer shape and helps frame my face a little bit more. After that, we're gonna spoolie it up some more and just brush through those brows, brushing against the way that the natural brow hairs would fall, so kind of brushing more towards the center and upwards. And to make sure everything stays locked in place all day, I'm gonna go in with a clear brow gel. So I'm gonna brush this through my brows, just how we did with the spoolie, and just make sure everything is stuck and glued down. So guys, that's pretty much it for the brows. Super simple. Everybody's look is gonna be a little bit different depending on how their natural brows are, but for me, this is how I achieve the feathery eyebrow look. And if I wanna make it even a little bit more dramatic, once I have the eyebrow gel in and everything and I still feel that it doesn't look like bushy enough and I wanna be a little bit more feathery, I go in with my ring finger and just kind of push my eyebrows more towards the center and I find that this kind of helps create that little extra fluff that you might be looking for. I didn't do anything to my eyes yet, but I also wanna keep it very simple and natural. So I'm actually gonna be using the MAC highlighter in Superb all over my eyes, just as like a simple wash of color. And since we kept it very simple on the eyes, I do wanna create a more volumized and fluffy looking lash as well. So for mascara today, I'm gonna to be using the Annabelle Full Blast Mascara. It's really nice at lengthening and volumizing without looking chunky or clumpy. And to wrap up the whole look, I'm gonna be going into the Marc Jacobs lipstick in Dream Girl, which is a really simple, natural, universal nude tone. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you found this video interesting and helpful. Don't forget to subscribe because I'll be back again very soon with another video for Fashion Magazine.